If you followed these video lessons to this point, you should have a working Hello World program. However, the console window, when it opens up, opens up for only a very short time, displaying Hello World, and then goes away. Matter, matter of fact, it might happen so quickly you can't even read what it says. So we're going to solve that problem here so we can actually see what the monitor is reading. So let's go ahead and put our cursor right after the semicolon at the end of the Hello World statement and hit Enter. We're going to add another command here. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and tell the computer once it's done writing the message Hello World to the monitor, we want the uh, computer to then pause and wait for additional input from us. And so the way we do that is give it a system command. So we write the word system and then a set of parentheses, opening and closing parentheses. Go ahead and back up one so now your cursor is in between those set of parentheses. And in quotation marks, write the word P-A-U-S-E, pause. And again, that has to be contained in a set of double quotes. And what we're telling the computer now is to pause after it displays this message and wait for further input. And when we do that, the user can then enter and, and press on any key on the keyboard. And once you do so, uh, the computer will continue uh, and finish the, the function or the program. We're missing one thing here. The reason I know I'm missing something is I still have a little red underline right under that, that uh, closing curly brace. That tells me there's some kind of error in the, probably in the line above it. I notice that the error is I don't have a semicolon right there. Again, all my lines should end with semicolons. As soon as I added that, the little red line down here went away. All right, so now I've got a pause statement added. Let's go ahead and save. Wow, save all. Build by going debug build. Okay, and wait a second until I see my succeeded statement or message. And now we're ready to start debugging or running the program. Okay, interestingly enough, if I come down here, I need to bring this up here so you can see it. I now have my message opening up in a console window. This is called a console window. Um, I see the word, the message, hello world, and then Right after it, press any key to continue. That is the message that comes up whenever I put a system pause command in my, in my program. So as soon as I hit any key on my keyboard, that'll go away and shut down. So we can see that unless I put a pause command in, the computer goes ahead, enters the main function, runs my cout statement, prints something to the screen, and then immediately ends the function, which causes the console window to to close. So unless I put the pause in there, it'll happen so quickly I won't see my message. So this is an important command to put right near the end of all of your programs at this point so that you your window stays open long enough for you to read the output. All right, so in um, so far we've created a working program that says hello world. Your assignment at this point now is to go ahead and add a second C out line um, right after the first one that gives a second part to your message. And um, go ahead and add that line. Make sure you add a semicolon at the end and all the other proper things like the quotation marks and the less than symbols after the see out command. Go ahead and add another line to your program. Go ahead, save it, build it, debug it, and see if you can get two lines of code to print out in your screen.